Hi, it's time for cooking with Lacey. I'm so bored. Um, so I am making uh, macaroni and cheese from that board. Have to go stand up. Oh, there it goes. So I have about three cups of water heating up with salt in the water. I use an eye dog salt. So. I'm waiting for it to boil, and then I'm going to put shell pasta in it. I know this is not your typical regular mac and cheese out of the box, but I took the box mix, the cheese sauce mix out of it, out of the box, because I wanted macaroni and tomatoes, but we didn't have bread, because I only eat macaroni and tomatoes if I have bread with it, which is really weird. But... I'm a weird person. So my water's getting really hot now. It's gonna start boiling within a couple minutes. Yeah. So I'm gonna put in about, mm, about two or three cups of this pasta. You can eyeball it, you know, but that's what I'm gonna do. about a quarter of the bag and then I gotta mix it before it burns. Okay. Here, I use I usually use a wooden spoon on pasta because it's gentler. It's gentle. I just want to mix it. I mean, I'm so bored. This is what I do when I'm bored. I videotape myself making stuff. This is, this is how I'm, yeah, I'm weird. I'm a weird person. You should know that by my videos by now. That I'm a weird person. But it's starting to boil now. And you just wait for it, the pasta to cook, which will take about seven minutes. This is the long part, just wait for the pasta to cook. You just keep stirring it occasionally because it'll stick to the bottom of the pan and it'll have burnt pasta. And it foams up. I move it away from the heat for a sec. Why it's still bubbling. It, like I have part of the pan still on the burner. But I move it away just to, you know, just so it'll not foam. And the reason it foams is because the the flour the pasta has in it and on it. That's what causes the a foam up. And it will do that until you get because it's um all it is is starch. The starch from the pasta is making it foam up. So sometimes I w one time in a uh, culinary school, this girl she was uh, making pasta. And she went away from it. I mean, it was boiling really good, like, like really good. She moved. She walked away from it for like five seconds, and it was overflowing the fucking um, kitchen area. Like it was. She made a big pot of it, like a big pot of thing. It was about like this and about like that big of pasta. I don't know why she was doing that. I think she was making stuff for everybody, but I don't know. Um, I can't remember. But she, uh, she just went away for like five seconds and already all of her water and pasta was all over the stove top. It was really funny. And then she's like, oh, I gotta do it again. So she went back, poured out that pot, put another pot on the same size, same amount of pasta in it. And this time she didn't walk away from it. She, I mean, she was there the whole time it was cooking. And, uh, her pasta wasn't all the way done. She was so paranoid that the pasta wasn't going to get was going to get done because she had it on high, which I have it on high, but I am watching it. And uh, she made her dish. It was, um, I think it was, if I remember right, it was uh, fettuccine. And oh my God, it was so fucking gross. It was the fettuccine. 
it's fettuccine alfredo. She made the sauce, and the sauce was okay, like by itself, but with the pasta she made, it had like a burnt taste because of the other was in it. I know she's you're supposed to wash every time you make you know make something different. Um, but it was kind of the same thing, but she never washed the pan because there were some noodles burnt to the side of the pan. And also the uh, noodles weren't done all the way, so it was really gross. <laughs> it was really disgusting. Um, and it, I mean, she was a freshman. She was a freshman in college, and I was already, I've been there a few years. I'm still in college. But, uh, but yeah, it is, it's horrible. Because she's like, why is this not working? Why is this not cooking all the way? I'm like, you're watching it? I said, you have to watch it, but you have to stir it. She wasn't stirring it. She was kind of doing this. Watching it. This is all she was doing. Just watching it cook. She was not coming over to stir it. She was not nothing. It was sticking to the bottom of the pan. And that's how it got burnt. And I seen a girl, she actually burned the pot of water. That's talent if you can burn a pot of water. Like it the all the water receded in the pan to the bottom and it is burnt. Like it had that smell through the whole entire kitchen. I was so upset. I'm like, no, my food's gonna smell like this. And my food did. But my chef said he liked it, so I didn't really care anymore. So I didn't really care because I just wanted the, I hated, I hate culinary. I friggin' hate it. The only part I like about it is the baking. That's the only thing I like. Like, the cooking, you can guesstimate, like, how much stuff will go in and it'll make it taste good. But baking has to be precise and it has to be exact measurements or it won't work. So, I like the baking because you have to actually make it, like, perfect. You have to, but, in a way, I like the cooking because you do get to, you know, like, figure out what you want in the in the recipe like you can exchange stuff out for the other stuff like if it says um, you want onions in your pasta dish I'm making pasta you want onions in there and you don't have onions you can put something else in it to substitute it like onion powder or something like that just to give it an onion flavor so I mean that that's the only good part about the cooking part of it, but the baking part, you have to be very precise on all your measurements, you have to get them on point and everything, so, but the, this girl, she did not want, <laughs> did not want to do this, but no second, you're pretty much done, there's, you, this pot is pretty fast, because it's shell, so it's not, it has less surface area to cook, so, another couple seconds, I believe. You want them kind of al dente, which means it's done, but it's kind of firm, if that makes sense, but, yeah, pretty awesome. So, yeah, you just kind of watch it and stir it, your pasta, because it will burn. I know that for a fact, because of that girl. I've never had pasta burn on me, ever. I think, even though I'm in culinary school, I know better, but... I'm in a co um, community college culinary class, which actually I'm not taking any this semester. Ah. Last year, last semester was my la my first time back for two semesters. The last time I had culinary. Last semester was the first time being back into culinary. Yeah, it sucked because I had one nice teacher and one crappy teacher. I do not like this other teacher. And everybody that knows me knows I don't like him. Because I just don't like him. But, um, yeah. He should be done. But let me go drain this over.
Never let your parents make fresh homemade hash browns. Don't. It's a pain in the butt to clean. should be like diet. Yum and delicious. And then you're going to need milk, butter, and the cheese sauce. My booty is just I'm comfortable enough for you guys. Okay. Milk. Butter. So I put about a tablespoon of butter in it. Sometimes more. I'm a bad person. Um, I basically put that much in. That's what I've always done. I've always put, sometimes I put two or three tablespoons in it before. Because I like the fat taste of it, I guess. I don't know. But you're going to put it on your burner that's still kind of hot, and it will melt that butter. And also the hot pasta will, too. But, you don't put your milk in it, which I put about a half cup in it. That's probably too much. But I like my mac and cheese really milky. Some people like them really thick. Oh, I can't do it. It makes me sick if I have thick macaroni and cheese. Like, I used to love it, but Mom, when I think someone made mac and cheese before. Ugh, so disgusting, because it was... They put like four or five packets of this in there, plus like a little bit of milk. And I was like, Ugh, nope, can't do it. But, stir this thing in the gizzard. Oh yeah. I'm so hungry. And it's like delicious. It has a perfect amount of milk, too. It's telling you I'm good. If you let it sit, it will get thicker. But I don't like thick. Nope. Thick mac and cheese. I just don't. I just don't know why. Probably because all the pasta wasn't done that day. And it was really disgusting. It's so gross. I think it's disgusting. But I don't know. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to show you how I make my cheese. I want some cheese with this because it's going to be good. Over here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need a cup. And get my nuke cup. I just washed these. I don't know why I'm smelling it. We do that. Every time we pull a cup out of the thing, we almost smell it. But. Okay. I don't about that much water in it. About three thirds of the way from the top. That's what I usually think. About three thirds. I'm good with mathematics. I hate math. Math is stupid. I know we need it, but I don't. I freaking hate math. Here you go. Oh, nope. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to stand up. You ain't going to. Okay. This is going 14 minutes. Holy crap. Okay. Opening the tea thing. I hate the smell of tea. But I love the taste of it. About one and a half of tea. One and a half of tea. Sorry. You know, look at my face when I said that. I'm like, one and a half. <laughs> okay. One time I inhaled that. Ooh, so gross. You know, I wish I could stand you on something. It'd be so much easier. Oh, it works now. Now, this is sugar. Oh, you can't see my head. It is sugar. I pour sugar and I don't ladle it in. I pour it in. So, usually I get right on the money. 
I usually, if I pour it in, I get right on the taste I want. Which is really weird. Perfect, see? I do. Every time I make new tea and I pour in the sugar, I'm perfect. Okay. I'll ice it up. Alright, now I gotta plate up my noodles. Well, bowl it up. Get a bowl. Believe it or not, those noodles kind of thickened up. Soaked up the cheese, the cheesy please, and then we're done. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.